Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. In this video, I am going to cover the multiple linear regression algorithm and will explain the problem statement for which we are going to build our machine learning model. I will also show you the data set as well as, the, uh, as, well as explain the concept of uh, dummy variables. So stay connected till the end of this video and this series uh, to acquire complete knowledge. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon uh, to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Let's quickly move on to the problem statement and uh, let me open uh, the restaurant uh, profit data set uh, real quick which is uh, kind of a pretty uh, real life uh, like data set so this is the data set which we have so as you can see uh, it contains five columns and uh, this data is actually associated with the 50 restaurant located mainly in three cities of Chicago Tokyo and Mumbai so each row uh, essentially uh, so these are the several rows okay and as you can see there are 50 of it all right so 50 restaurants data each row essentially contains data for one restaurant uh, these restaurants are uh, anonymous and doesn't have specific names given here now each of these restaurants has uh, you know expenditure details uh, and the profit they are making uh, on yearly basis so each of these these restaurants has various expenses uh, depicted by columns uh, uh, miscellaneous expenses um, how much actually they are spending on food innovation how much they are spending on advertising okay and uh, for a particular uh, year in fact so the profit uh, they made for that year is shown in this column profit okay and the location of these restaurants uh, is depicted by this column city okay now uh, your task as a data scientist is to develop a model to predict the profit for a restaurant which has uh, which is a you know particular restaurant chain uh, is uh, planning to open in any of these three cities uh, given here okay and also on the basis of how much they are planning to spend on uh, these uh, miscellaneous expenses food innovation as well as on advertising so in a nutshell profit will be uh, the dependent variable here okay so this profit column and uh, rest other columns are independent variables so you need to develop a model which can predict the profit uh, based on city miscellaneous expenses food innovation spend and advertising in fact these restaurant chain can uh, also try to see how much profit they are going to get if they spend money on let's say only on miscellaneous expenses and advertising only keeping spend as zero for uh, you know food innovation so they can tweak any variable to see how much profit they are going to get so this is pretty much about uh, this data set now moving on to the linear regression uh, we need to keep in mind that there are certain key assumptions uh, we need to take uh, whenever we are uh, building these linear regression models these assumptions are homoscedasticity uh, multivariate uh, normality uh, linearity lack of uh, multicollinearity i will create a separate video on these topics but for uh, now just keep in mind that these are the key assumptions we need to take when building our linear regression models now since this is a multiple linear regression model and we have uh, multiple variables here uh, like miscellaneous expenses food innovation advertising city so our uh, original equation which i showed in a simple linear regression uh, topic where we had uh, one independent variable and one dependent variable same is not the case here here we have uh, multiple independent variables like miscellaneous expenses food innovation spend advertising city so these are four uh, independent variables here and profit is our dependent variable and since uh, there are multiple independent variable columns here that's why we call this uh, algorithm as multiple linear regression 
So based on the data provided, we will substitute uh, these columns or independent variables uh, in the multiple linear regression equation. So our equation in this case would become y equals to a0 plus a1 into miscellaneous expenses plus a2 into food innovation spent plus a3 into advertising and plus question mark. Now you might uh, ask what are these question marks? Well, these are nothing but a placeholder to keep city value. And we are kind of raising a question uh, here uh, about what value of city to keep here because city is not a numeric value just like other uh, independent variables we have. And as we know that we can't add a text or a string based value in the equation. So as you can see city is uh, basically a categorical uh, variable which we can't add in our regression equation. So in order to include uh, these kind of uh, categorical variables in our regression models, we make use of technique called one hot encoding. If you want to learn more about one hot encoding, then watch the link given the I button above. So for every category, uh, we essentially make a separate column, which we call it dummy variable. And since we have three categories of cities, uh, namely Chicago, Mumbai and Tokyo. Uh, so we will create three columns or three dummy variables for each of these cities. Okay. Now uh, uh, here we are kind of uh, expanding our data set by adding these additional columns which are Tokyo, city and Mumbai columns. Basically these are the uh, group of or category of these uh, cities. Now how to populate these columns? Well, let's say you are uh, on Chicago column. So you will insert one for uh, this column wherever the city value is Chicago for that row. And for rest of the two columns that is Tokyo and Mumbai, you will insert zero. So wherever there is value one for Chicago, we will assume that uh, this restaurant is in Chicago. And if the value is uh, zero, then it means that uh, this restaurant is not in Chicago. Similarly, if you want to populate the values for Tokyo column, uh, then insert the value one in this column, wherever the city value is Tokyo for that row. And for, uh, for the rest of the other columns, you will insert zero. You will do similar exercise for Mumbai column as well. Now please keep in mind that in order to develop our linear regression model, we can't keep all the three dummy variables in our regression equation uh, because then it will result in a multicollinearity situation. So multicollinearity is a situation where one or a several independent variable in a linear regression predict another variable due to which model can't distinguish uh, these set of dummy variables and hence giving poor model performance. So whenever you are building the linear regression model and you have uh, created uh, certain dummy variables, then always omit one dummy variable from it. So let's say if you have 50 dummy variables in the data set, or if you have created 50 dummy variables in the data set, then include only 49 dummy variables for regression purpose. If you have 10 dummy variables uh, in the data set, then include only 9. So in our case, we will include only 2 dummy variables in the regression equation and will omit 1. And uh, we can omit any of the city column. Okay, uh, It can be either uh, Chicago or Mumbai or Tokyo. That's up to you. Now, if let's say you have two set of dummy variables, uh, then you need to apply the same heuristics or rule to each uh, other, uh, each set in fact. So our multiple linear regression equation after omitting a city column, uh, because obviously we have to remove the city column uh, uh, since we are creating these three dummy columns. So we can't keep both city as well as three dummy columns together uh, in this. We have to remove the city column because based on that only we are creating these three additional columns. So we will remove uh, city column and include only two dummy variables. Uh, so our equation, uh, the uh, linear regression equation will 
looks something like this a0 plus a1 into miscellaneous expenses plus a2 into food innovation spend plus a3 into advertising plus a4 into chicago plus a5 into mumbai so as you can see i have uh, removed uh, tokyo uh, column and city column in order to get rid of uh, the multicollinearity issue so folks this is it for this video to conclude i explained about uh, multiple linear regression uh, the intuition behind it uh, in fact uh, uh, certain assumptions we need to take and i also showcased uh, the data set associated with it i also explained uh, the problem statement where we are uh, going to predict the profit uh, for a particular restaurant if we are uh, trying to open it in a particular city so let me ask you a question from today's video if i have created semi uh, seven dummy variables for building the uh, multiple linear regression model then how many dummy variables will i have to include in my uh, multiple linear regression equation please post your answers comments uh, in the uh, comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you